Hi, this is Jason Molesky. In this example, we'll take a look at how to identify individuals and variables in a data set. Census at School is an international project that collects data about primary and secondary school students using surveys. Students from around the world have taken part in this project since the year 2000. Data from these surveys and more information are available at the project's website, www.censusatschool.com. The authors use the site's random data selector to choose 10 Canadian students who completed the survey in a recent year. The table below displays the data. For this example, the first thing we'll want to do is identify the individuals in the data set. Recall, individuals are the objects that are described by a set of data, and they may be people, animals, or things. In this example, the individuals are the 10 randomly selected Canadian students. Each row within the table represents one individual. Next, let's identify what variables were measured and classify them as categorical or quantitative. A variable is any characteristic of an individual. It can take on different values for different individuals. Recall a categorical variable places an individual into one of several groups or categories, while a quantitative variable takes numerical values for which it makes sense to find an average. The categorical variables within this example are province, gender, handedness, and preferred communication. The quantitative variables are the number of languages spoken, height, wrist circumference, and the time it takes to travel to school. Notice each of the quantitative variables are numeric and it would make sense to calculate an average. Finally, let's describe the individual in the highlighted row. For this example, the individual that's highlighted was from Ontario, is a male, and speaks three languages. The student was left-handed, is 150 centimeters tall, has a wrist circumference of 100 millimeters, and prefers to communicate via internet chat. Finally, the student takes 10 minutes to get to school.